Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here and this is a review for the Easy at Home Wireless TENS Massager. You'll receive the TENS device in a case, a power adapter, micro USB charging cable, and an instruction manual. The unit comes with two gel pads for the device. The TENS massager has two areas on the back where the gel pads will be adhered, indicated by these two gray shapes. The unit measures 6 inches across and 3 inches wide. It's very thin, though the control mechanism is about half an inch thick. In the bottom right corner of the control box is the power port for charging. There are only three buttons on the unit, plus, power, and minus. There's also an LED indicator so you know that it's on. The side flaps are made of silicone and flexible to mold to the shape of your body. To apply the gel pads, peel off the clear backing, then line up and place the gel pad over the gray area on the massager before removing the blue film. Save these though so you can cover the pads again when you're not using them. I used this massager on my lower back after a weekend of gardening had brought on some lower back soreness and stiffness. Applying the pads by yourself is usually pretty easy depending on where you're using it. When you press the power button, it'll start a 20 minute countdown timer. It always starts in the multiple pattern mode on the lowest setting. If you long press the plus or minus button, it'll switch to the next or previous mode of which there are five. Each one gives a slightly different pattern and sensation for dealing with whatever pain that you have. Short press the plus or minus buttons to increase or decrease the intensity. There are a total of 15 intensities for each mode, but usually around 4 or 5 was plenty for me. When switching modes, it'll always start at the lowest intensity, regardless of the intensity that you are set to before changing modes. I like that the unit doesn't require any wires, and it's very low profile. In fact, it's easily hidden under a shirt, save for the power LED. The electrical stimulation contracts your muscles either gradually or very quickly, which can sometimes cause spasms or discomfort. For example, when I used it on my shoulder, the pulses were pretty intense. The unit takes about an hour to charge and lasts several sessions before needing to be recharged. I've done up to four consecutive sessions in different areas of my body without having the unit run out of power, but I haven't tested the limit of how many uses you can do before it runs out of battery. After several days of use on my lower back, the pain really did go away, and I think the unit helped relieve some of the soreness and speed up my recovery time. It's not as good as a massage from a real person, but it's pretty effective and can alleviate some pain when used for certain injuries and recovery. The pads eventually will wear out and lose their stickiness, so if you need new ones, you can buy more online. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.